Hello YouTube, today I have a special video for you. No, this is not my 100 subscriber special, but I'd like to first, to start off this video, I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing me. Thank you for all of those views, 100 subscribers. So this is not my 100 subscriber special. It'll take um, a couple of days for that. Maybe I'll upload it tomorrow. Maybe it'll come out soon, but not too soon. It's not done yet, but thank you so much for the 100 subscribers, and let's get on with the video. So, see those are my locks, and here, today I'm going to be doing a bulb test for you guys. So, let me tell you what kinds I have. These two are three ways. This is an incandescent. This is a CFL. These two are 14 watts. They're both warm white. This one's made by Commercial Electric. This one's made by Panasonic. This one's rapid I mean instant start this one's rapid start um this one has a noisy ballast so just it's a norm it's a warning so this this one has a noisy ballast because it's old I got it like seven years ago eight years ago but now they don't use that Home Depot doesn't use that brand anymore all right so here we go all right let me tell you the other ones this is uh once the camera focuses it's a uh, here let me see what it is it is a you can't see it i'm i'm still using my ipod camera the iphone i don't have it anymore so i'm sorry guys it's back to old camera so it's a feet electric 100 watt 120 volt and the last one eco smart 14 watt daylight bulb so let me put the CFL over here so these three are 14 watts this one is 100 watts so to start it off I'm gonna show you how bright everyone is see this is the only one that's rapid start the rest are instant start obviously so let me test this bulb in in my fixture this has spider webs in it this one is the oldest we use this a lot so the paint is chipping off and all that they're like bugs small dead bugs in there this is an old fixture I got it approximately almost four years ago let's plug in the light oops alright bulbs in it turned on cuz it was yeah alright so let's turn off this light and turn on the feed electric here we go so yeah does a really nice job lighting the room and I'm gonna the feed electric bulb is gonna be staying in this fixture because I have no idea how hot it is and I'm not gonna wait to change the bulb so I'm just gonna leave it in there because it's probably like red hot smoking hot right now she does a really good job lighting this part of my entertainment room. Let me turn off this light. Turn on this regular light. So th it's these two. These two are both 14 watt Eco Smart bulbs. One in each fixture. One out of three sockets. But it before I used to have like three bulb light bulbs in both these fixtures. They're both they both have three sockets and they are pretty much the same they're the same lumens compared to the six bulb so two out of six so they're both consuming one third of the energy which is pretty great all right next up is this this one will be doing last so next up is this uh what's this eco smart bulb this is daylight this is all the right, same guys, exact the at full brightness um, right now I'm using my iPad because my iPod, see over there, that's my iPod that I used to film earlier, has run out of space. So now, until my iPod has enough space, I'm going to be using not my iPad. So this light does a really good job lighting this room. It's pretty, it's pretty um, bright. It's kind of like this feed electric bulb, let me turn it on. See, here's the um, comparison of the daylight and the feed electric. 
they're both kind of the same uh, color. I mean, same range. This one, this one is equivalent to this one. So it's pretty, it's pretty great. See now, I turn it on for a couple seconds. It's already really, really hot. But it doesn't hurt too much. All right. Oh crap! Sorry. Sorry for the language, guys. All right. All right. Let me turn off this light and turn on the regular light. As you can see, here. Let me take this. Let me see if this bulb is hot. Mm, it's not hot. It's been on for a while. See, it really doesn't hurt because it's not that hot, by the way. Alright, so the information's over here. Hold on, let me focus the camera. Let me first let me place the bulb down there. There we go, now I can see better. This is 5000 watt K. Okay. See, it's a bulb. This is the only daylight bulb out of everything. The rest is warm light. Next is this rapid start bulb. It is 14 watts. It's warm white. It's the only rapid start bulb I have. I have two rapid start bulbs and they look like this. The CFO's encased in this. Alright, so let me put this one in. Sorry for that little, that dark mark on my hand over here this thing it's it's a scar that I got from dismantling the um, it was two years ago I got it and this one over here on my hand I got it two months ago this one over here on my hand um, over here this I got more scars on my right hand than I do on my left so this one has uh, this one I got from dismantling and this one some kid scratched me all right, so let me turn off the light and turn it on. Here I am. Hi. All right. Let's turn off this light and turn on the warm light. Here we go. See, it goes da. See, let me bring it closer so you can so you know what I mean. All right. It's pretty good, but now it's not at full brightness. So let me focus the camera there we go it's better than my iPod camera because this is new iPad it's not that great but still it's the iPad 2 actually no it's not the new iPad it's it's my brand new iPad 2 so look see the paint over here the paints peeling off over here they're like f f dead flies sitting around and while that's brightening up, let me turn on this light and cut to the chase of this bulb. This is, um, let me focus the camera here. It's similar to the 23 watt bulb, but this is the second oldest out of all my commercial electric bulbs. And the one that I put outside, the 23 watt, is uh, the youngest. So look, it's 14 watts. It's It has less watts compared. The youngest has the most watts. So, see this? See the bases? It's like open on this side, and in the middle, it's not. This is a two way, by the way. Uh, here, while I'm at it, I'm going to place the bulb in this. Oops, sorry, my bad. Let me place the bulb in this light fixture. I'm doing this one handed, by the way, because this iPad's really um, big. As you can see, hi, all those are my antiques. All right, here's the light at full brightness. It does a really good job lighting this room, but the daylight was significantly brighter. These two are the both same color, but this one is a little bit more yellow than this one. This one's more pink. So, yeah. That's it. And then I'm going to show you all CFLs on and then all warm whites on. That's it. All and then yeah. You you guys know what I mean. So all right. Let's turn off
turn on let's turn on this light turn off this warm light see now it's instant start because it's been on for a long time all right let's turn off this light and let's turn on the old commercial electric here we go as you can see let me bring the camera closer As you can as you can hear specifically, the bulb is pretty loud. It goes eh. See, buzzing is soft, but after a little while, it will stop after the bulb reaches full brightness. So I'm gonna do all of the CFLs on. So actually, no, I'm gonna do all warm whites on. So let me put this incandescent bulb on the other side. Alright, so these two don't heat up as well. It's not too hot. See, look, I told you, this one's more pink. You can't see it but from the camera, but actually, it is pink. It's more. This one's more pink than this one down here. See? This one's more yellow, and this one's more pink. Now watch. Together, they're both 28 watts. Now watch how much the room is being lighted. It's pretty good. Now let's turn on this one. So now, it's pretty much a warm white festival in here. So, feed electric, 100 watts. Panasonic, 14 watt warm white. Commercial electric, 14 watt warm white. So let me stand from here. As you can see, it's pretty much like a warm white festival in here. Because there, there are three warm white bulbs, so combined it is 128 watts, three bulbs, one fixture, three bulbs, and 128 watts of lights. So let me turn on this. Sorry guys, I messed up at that part, so let me continue a new part. Let me turn off these lights. The, commercial, the, the Panasonic. The Commercial Electric. And the uh, feed electric, so it does a really good job lighting it my room, but I don't like it. It it doesn't have that industrial look. It doesn't say ah. It doesn't say it like that. So here's the here are the two lights. Let me uninstall them. By uninstall, I mean unscrew. So, oops, sorry. I want to show you how they all look together. So, I know it'll take long, but I'm sorry, guys. Alright, let's turn on these lights. Daylight. Commercial electric. I just pushed a button there. But nothing happened, thank God. Alright, now the daylight I mean the incandescent let's turn off this light see how it looks it doesn't really blend well with the others but industrial look and all that see how it looks here let me turn off this light now watch incandescent on that side daylight on this side 100 watts feed electric 14 watt eco smart so now it is time to take out this annoying bulb no offense to the bulb it's just age all right let me all right now rapid start it looks pretty good actually all together it would waste electricity but does a really good job lighting this room, but not as Sorry well as about that two. again, guys. My hand is pushing the record button. I'm sorry. So here's the first one. And there's the second one. And those are the three bulbs. All right. Let me just turn on this light. This is an old fixture of mine. We don't use it anymore since we got the ceiling fans installed in our in the rooms. 
So these lights are they're they're still useful. They're they're useful for the spare bulbs I have in my garage. It's not they're not totally useless. I'm not gonna stop trying to use these. So let's turn off the Eco Smart. They I mean commercial electric and I mean Panasonic and the feed electric. So that was my bulb comparison. Hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching and once again Thank you for helping me reach my goal of getting 100 subscribers. I really appreciate what you guys have been do doing for me. Thank you. And that's it.